Um, so this is a bit of a different video. Um, now we're in March and it is nearly time for the new release of the new Animal Crossing, New Horizons. I'm sure everybody knows about it, or at least if you watch me you've probably heard about it before because I do tend to go on, especially on my Instagram and everything, I tend to go on about my DS and how I de-stress using my DS or just chillaxing for a bit and that's how I and all I play on my DS is Animal Crossing and Sims Agents. Uh, and I can't show you, I was thinking, oh, why don't I share with you like my little space that I go into to de-stress after college. And I can't, obviously I can't show it yet on my DS because you can't, I don't have a capture card or anything for the DS, but I thought I play Pocket Camp every single day. Um, so I thought I'd show you my little Pocket Camp area and see what you think of it, you can judge my aesthetics or not or whatever. So this is my campsite. Uh, oh I've got some people who want to talk to me, they want to talk. Kiki, Bu and Dotty, so let's have a look. I'll go to speak to them first and then I'll show you around. So then, this is my little like area. I've sort of tried to do it as like a Victorian living room. I have like a little kitchen and some knives and stuff. I have a little rocking chair that Julia is currently sat on and there's a cup of tea on the table next to her and then there's a cup of green tea there. I have a nice little clock and some a very nice tea set. I really like that tea set and then Fang's just stood in front of the fire and then Kiki's up the ladder in my amazing library. I loved this. I had to get, I can't remember what event it was. It was a recent event but I just had to get that. It was so gorgeous. Uh, and then I go, I can go see I have a little flower pathway and then this is the outside a bit. Lily and Dotty are hanging about in the garden. That's my new anem anemite. I can never say that word. I'll do an unveiling for that in a bit. It was for Julia so I can level up. So I have some nice tulips, a little fire that's burning. And then some swings and paint, a paint set there so that they, if any villagers want they can go here and paint some nice pictures. And then I have some of like just serene calming images. And then my garden's up here. There's an event on currently for the rare creatures. Uh, but I won't go in there at the current moment. I'll go in there after because it could just take time. <laughs> and then this is my camper. I tried to make it a bit Hufflepuff themed. So it has the uh, yellow and the black. So let's just go in and explore. It's not that, I've not really made it homely, it's sort of like an office to be honest. See, this is my office camper. So I have a very nice, a bit of a sweet, a bit of a honey theme. So I have like a sweet table and then my workbook and a cup of tea next to it. Uh, I love that mushroom lamp so I just had to get it. I have some honeycomb shelves and then just like a swing seat to relax in. So I wanted to make my camper sort of like my nook's cranny of my own sort of work because the cabin is sort of like a hotel that I've sort of designed it as. So yeah, I only have one floor as of yet. I've not updated to get like a second floor. But I'll show you my cam my cabin. So it is sort of boring. I've not I'm not that far not had that many levels in because I had it ages ago when it first came out, but then I deleted it off and didn't really get into it. But then I've been playing it more often recently because uh, I've seen a lot of you know, YouTubers been playing it, so I just thought I'd start again. So this one is sort of my favourite area because it's quite like Victorian hotel themed and I quite like it. So I went like, so this is like a little vanity area to like sort your makeup out. Uh, I have like a clock there for them to keep an eye on what's going on and then like a little sofa to chillax in and a table for if they want to do it, play any cards or anything, I don't know. And then in the middle is a nice little fountain pond well thing to sort of give a chillaxed feeling. So they're sort of like the areas that I've designed. So I'll go, we'll go and catch some bugs together shall we? To be honest, I think at my campsite currently, uh, either Lily, Julia, probably Lily or Julia are my favourite ones at the 
camp site at the moment. I do have Bob here as well, just um, uh, to pay respects to Crossing Channel, who is my father and my son at the current moment. Uh, my, but one of my favourite characters that I have, well, two of my favourite char characters that I have on my DS is, is Snake and Marina, because they're just so cute. So you can watch me catch some bugs if you would like. Let us catch some bugs. Night release recapture. Yay. Oops. Fingers crossed. I really want to get a flow crown and a new wig. Hairstyle. I would like to get. Yay. Task complete. Time to unveil my new anemone. I cannot. A me amenity, not an anemone. An anemone is like a sea creature, I think. An, 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 an amenity. There we go. It's like uh, I've been. It's I've been building. It's sort of like a water fountain, I think it is. It's so I can get Julia up to a higher level, and it's also really cute. So let us unveil Bob. Yay! Let's have a look. Ooh, I really like that actually. Bee's already there. Bee. Wait, I better use up. I've never see. I never really say the names out loud. I just sort of say it in my head. So if I'm saying them completely wrong, please don't judge me. So I know I'm not quite that high a level. As I said, I've not been playing it that long, but I play it every day. But since I've been playing, it's just been ama an amazing sort of stress relief. Cause like when I get in from college, I used to only sort of on my phone the only games that I have had before this it was the Hogwarts mystery game I still play that every day but now it's just sort of so nice to sort of come home every day and just dissociate from the whole revision because obviously I don't have wi-fi at college so I can't binge it at college but it's just nice so and I cannot wait for New Horizons when I'll be seeing people do uh, gameplays of the of New Horizon. It could be amazing. Enjoying the time on the swing. I, uh, my end goal, I think, for what type of aesthetic I want, I'm gonna go for, aim for at the end. Is I'm either gonna go completely Victorian or like a Lolita themed because it is so cute. Oh, I forgot to tell you, there is also a little octopus seat which Bob is currently enjoying his time on. Hello. So I'll go through some of like what you do when you're playing it. So uh, when you load up a lot of the time when there's been quite a long period between between you get sort of the balloons like what you'd shoot down in Wild World or City Folk and they come with like little deliveries. And then you have like villagers who aren't at your campsite because you can only have, a, is it a limit of 8 that you can have at your campsite or a limit of 10? I'm not so sure. Uh, so, so these people sort of, so these villagers sort of stay at different sites. There's Saltwater Shores, there is Sunburst Island, Lost Law Creek and then Breezy Hollow and they have like little quests as well, they refresh every 3 hours. So you can either go to the campsites or you can go to Pete's parcel delivery service and sort of deliver them that way and it's a lot faster. But like if you run out of things then you obviously have to go fishing or you have to go shake down trees to get the fruits or if you get the special tree then you can get a bag of bells. High quality, very realistic, just shaking down the tree and get some money. So I need some oranges at the current moment, so I shall pick up some oranges. And then I can personally deliver him some fish. There we go, here's your fish. Blithering are they? Bl bly, blithering, blithering, I'm not so sure. And then when the special events on, the rewards that you get for helping the villagers out, uh, what you can use to get the reward of the special event so like he's given me some spring tulip seeds and red tulip seeds which I need to grow for the event but yeah it's just sort of like a nice break from 
life <laughs> just pretending to be a little villager with animal friends so yeah i hope you enjoyed my little tour around my campsite and my and i'll try and keep you up to date with if i change the layer at all or if i decide to splurge a bit and get a load of cool new stuff i'll show you if i do decide to right i shall see you all soon i cannot wait for new horizons <sighs> i'm so excited <laughs> bye